Hey guys, this is just a quick rundown on how I actually find clients uh, when it comes to Amazon Consulting. I'm going to be showing you guys really quickly how to find the people that you're looking for. If there is a certain niche that you're actually trying to target or a certain audience that you're trying to um, look for that you feel comfortable with like fitness or health or kitchen supplies or anything that has to do with home decor. Anything it could be anything, you guys, even pets. But um, when it comes to searching for a product that's right for you, you gotta understand that uh, it's it's it takes work to to find your your customer first. But once you do, you know you have your your source, and you guys can just keep going back to that um for your clients um in the near future with uh the things that I'm gonna be showing you today. So the first thing I'm gonna touch on right now is um the first place I go whenever I'm looking for a client to to work with or a product owner um, I go to the grommet it's, uh, it's easy to find uh, people who with new products uh, who go to showrooms and who go to a lot of business meetings um, a lot of these people are already established they just do not know how to sell their product so that's actually a good thing for us because it creates demand for us so what I like to do is go to here to shop um, pick a category it could be anything let's just say home and garden and then um, I search down here, you guys, um, for a product that I would like to sell. Nothing complicated, nothing that's going to break on the customer as soon as it gets in their hands. Just keep scrolling down, scrolling down, so I see if I find something. If I don't, I literally do just move on. If it's too big, I can create problems, too, if the product is just way too big. Or if it's just way too intricate then I leave that alone as well. I just, I'm just looking for something really simple. Something something easy to sell to the consumer. Alright, so I'm not seeing anything on this. Let's just say, I think this would be a good one right here, you guys, actually. So, paint handy. Alright, let's. Uh, the first thing I look for right here, um, this is actually their brand name. So this is the first thing that will come up. I highlight that, copy that, um, scroll down here, and I find the product owner. This is the product owner's name, Ben. This is his name, and this is what I do. I go to Amazon Google Sheets, and I can't show you it because it has all my contacts, all the um, the list that I'm building. But um, as I go to Amazon Google Sheets, and I enter the product owner's name, I enter the product that I'm targeting, and I enter their uh, phone number. And I'm going to show you how to get a hold of their phone number. But first, I always check to see if they're already listed on Amazon. So we go to Amazon, type in Paint Handy, and see if their product comes up. So it doesn't seem like they even have it listed up here, you guys. And that's sometimes a good, good thing too. You know, even if it's not listed up there, you can offer to have a separate entity, a separate co uh, corporate entity on um, Amazon as a channel for them. So that you can start selling their products on Amazon. And just reach out to them in that sense. Um, but I'm trying to find one that's so. Go to Google. Um, we're gonna see if we can find their uh, product, their their brand website. And yep, this is their brand website right here. Looks like they're they know what they're doing when it comes to website design. Um, so they're really good about establishing themselves. We got the number right here, you guys. Always look for the contact info. At the very bottom of the page, uh, it's just if you can't find anything in regards to contact, um, sometimes it's just not this blatant, you guys. Sometimes it's not this obvious, so you have to do some real searching. Sometimes it's in very small text, but look for contact us. And as a last resort, go to about us because sometimes they'll put their uh, phone number in the about us page. And so what I do is just take that number, I go back to my Google Sheets, and I add that to my list. And all you need is just three things, you guys. You just need the uh, the C, the product owner's name. You just need the product, and then you just need um, their phone number. So after you guys have that done, um, you guys just keep repeating the process. And that's this is exactly what I do to find my um, my clients. Um, another thing I like to do if I want to get real gorilla style up in here, let's just go to Amazon. And let's see if I reach out. Let's just say. I want to reach out to some pet products. Let's just see. Actually, let's just switch it up. Sports and outdoors. 
okay? You know, because I'm a, I'm, I love lifting weights. I love, you know, weightlifting. So these are the things that I'm most interested in, you know, getting active. Um, let's see if we can find something in regards to... Just say athletic clothing. Keep it simple. Okay. Alright, so... These sleeves look fine. So, right now, uh, whenever you're doing it like raw like this, what you want to do is just find a product that uh, you think would sell well. Um, you, you already see that selling well. You know, just by based off of reviews. And how many, um, how much customer feedback they're actually getting? So I look right here. So compression calf sleeves. We'll type that in here. Go back to sports and outdoors. All right, cool. And this is the type of format that we want right here, you guys. We want this kind of list format right here of uh, all the products so we scroll down all, all the way to the bottom and you want to always move past uh, the third page after the third page you start really getting into uh, the products that just do not know how to market themselves really well and which is awesome for us because look at this eight reviews I, I like to target anything under 50 reviews if, if it, the product is under 50 reviews it needs help that's that's my um, motto right there when it comes to finding somebody who needs my help so you can go a little deeper and you can find plenty and a lot of these are already established brands you guys you just need to um, see their you can see their name blue one Tectrum um, all you gotta do is just copy and uh, paste their yeah place uh, paste their brand name in Google and see if you can find their website if you can find the website just uh, go ahead and see if you can find their contact info and reach out to them about their product that they have listed on Amazon. And that's how I uh, find, you know, contacts uh, the way I do it, you know. And I just keep repeating this process until I have a list of 50 people and then go reach out to those 50 people, create a new list of 50 people, reach out to those 50 people. It's straight up guerrilla style, you guys. There's no software to make this easier. You just have to put in the work, all right? So I hope this has helped you. I have this, hope this gave a lot of value out to you guys, a lot of you guys. If you guys um, have any more questions, please feel free to uh, reach out to me, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible.